back to my channel. If you haven't run across me before, hey, I go by Didi. Before I hop into the video, I have to thank my girl Zuri here for sending me these bundles. I do have them in my head right now. I also do have the other two right here. Y'all look how thick and pretty and full these bundles is. She also did send me, uh, where is that? Ugh. She also did send me this basically silky spray that's what i call it but it smells so so good y'all it smells like watermelon fruity it smells so good but you know it just silk up the hair so if y'all looking for some good quality bundles go shop with my girl i do believe she do have a sale going on right now so y'all check her out i'm gonna have it in the description down below okay with that being said let's go ahead and jump into these updates but y'all know before i do that i do have to give out my little disclaimer anything i say in this video i found online i'm not making this video to bash or slander anybody's name and also i am using this under youtube spare use guidelines okay y'all y'all can see by the title of the video this is gonna be an updates video this is updates number three if you have not watched all my other videos and my updates number one and two i recommend y'all do watch that so y'all can really see what's been going on y'all can see who i'm actually talking about but if y'all already caught up then y'all know what we about to get into so we gonna start with miss apple store girl aka shay all right so starting with shay it does seem like mycin is back in her household as he can be heard again in the background of her lives but it also seems like he is not there full time because some days the house is just really quiet and you can tell he's not there so there does seem to be some type of split custody situation going on he's definitely not in the house all of the time but he definitely is in the house sometimes but there was an incident on live where shay's sister savannah sons maury can be heard in the background saying that my son pulled down his pants early cooking before work Right. They heard that. They heard that and ate that up. I already know what they finna do with that little with, with that little scene that they little got. That they got. I already know. This is not the first time that my son has been heard doing inappropriate things on live. If you remember in my original Shay video, there are definitely a few past incidents of Myson doing these things. Shay then decided to go live and question Myson about the incident. Have I ever taught you anything about touching on any, like, t touching people on, on their private parts? No. No, I haven't. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? You meant no. I would, I would never teach you anything like that. The reason I asked you this because these on the internet are 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 are, are saying that that you that you are this type of person, and I and, and I have not raised you to be that type of way. Honestly, it seems like my son picks up on this sexual behavior from somewhere, and it's not surprising because Shay sits on live all day listening to all types of provocative music and doing provocative things, which leads me into Shay's OnlyFans. So the Reddit users discovered Shay has an OnlyFans and somebody decided to buy it and they found that she was in fact posting nude pictures. Honestly, it's not unheard of for a mother to have an OnlyFans page, but it does become a problem because the photos take place in a very open area of the home and it's really no telling who is around to see this, especially knowing that she lives with her sister who has young children as well. Shay also started to post this content on her Twitter page for everybody to see. Now Shay also had a falling out with her auntie who publicly came on live bashing her and it seemed like they made up for a short period of time. But once the auntie seen what her son did, she came back online to bash Shay. Shay also has recently been getting into it with several people, including two people that I have covered. Now Shay got into it with Zimnique, who claims Shay is always speaking on her and wants to be her. And she also got into it with E. Kane, which was surprising because a lot of people noticed that Shay was mimicking a lot of things that E. Kane does, and it was obvious that she looked up to her. I'm not with nobody 
nobody Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text, didn't call me Still This girl named Shay, this girl named Shay OMG, uh, let me watch it What y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do then? This girl I never, I, I, I never said I never said, I, I never said yeah, Don't y'all think y'all would've, don't y'all think y'all would've found my job by now? So childish <laughs> I understand you probably going through a lot, ho, because you ain't got custody of your kids. You probably don't give a f you done had a new wig since they been gone. You done been getting new eyeshadow palettes since they been gone. You ride around with a nigga buying you McDonald's frat pays since they been gone. So, I mean, I ain't saying you got to get on live screaming and, and crying, but I'm saying, damn, what kind of mother is you? Even when they used to compare me to your ass in that Reddit. Shay was obviously hurt by E. Kane's words and was visibly upset on live after discovering E. Kane was laughing at her on Reddit and after hearing what E. Kane had to say about her. And recently, Shay was seen on live threatening viewers and claiming to have a weapon and she was shortly let go from her job. Viewers assumed that she was fired because of the threats and telling viewers to come to her job, which was at a college campus. Cause I keep some know me. I keep some know me. I keep some know me. That motherfuckers wanna drop locations, but don't, but don't wanna be there standing, standing on business though. I don't give about, I don't give about y'all knowing where I stay at, where I work at. So okay, and did, did you do something? Y'all, y'all have been knowing, y'all have been knowing where I worked at for how long, and you still ain't did, didn't do something then since, since you about that life then. Since you drop it low. So basically, Shay is back to where she started with no job and back begging on live. Moving on to Miss Independent Shanika, her and her friend Keisha decided to throw Nika's oldest daughter, Naya, a graduation party. But the viewers were confused on why. Because Naya graduated high school last year. And to the viewers' knowledge, she had just posted a video about enrolling into a nursing program. So how could she have graduated already? In the video, Naya looked it confused and she came on her YouTube page with a community post admitting that she was confused and that she would make a video to clear things up. But she later deleted the post and made a video claiming that she graduated with an undergraduate degree. But this would require four years of college and it's just really no way that this is true. Uh, they got winter semester, spring 2024 and then May semester, summer and fall. I don't want to do fall. I'm definitely not doing summer. I can't do winter because I don't have a car to get there right now, and it's not in. It's in a whole other city. So I'm doing May master. May master. Let me put a password, and then I'm gonna go ahead and continue. She also posted an email claiming that she completed the courses, but the people in the Reddit did some digging and they discovered an identical email to Naya's. So it really just looks like Naya copy and pasted this email from the internet and claimed it to be hers. Naya has been talking about enrolling into nursing school for a while now and Nika claimed that she was enrolled in online school, but Naya at the most has some college credits. It's just no way she already has an undergraduate degree. So viewers were very confused on why Nika threw her a graduation party. Viewers speculate that Nika was exaggerating Naya's accomplishments to Keisha, and Keisha really believed that Naya graduated from some type of medical program, so she threw her a party. But Naya claims it was an early graduation party. Now, Nika was caught in a video saying she is happy that her oldest son, Papa, doesn't like black girls. Thank you. Papa, I'm, I'm glad you don't like black girls. <laughs> I mean, people don't laugh at you. You guys like, damn. You know, like, Nika can't do nothing. Bad joke, black girls, whatever. The reason why I said that about my son is because a lot of these black girls, it's just crazy and they're obsessed with these boys back in the day. And I ain't with my son to be in those situations where, you know, he had to hurt somebody or she hurt him. And, nah, these black girls, they, I ain't lying. All of them ain't bad, but you know, that wasn't no discrimination on that either. I was just telling him that in the video. And he laughed because he don't have a his girlfriend is not black at all. He's glad he just doesn't like black girls. Anyways, um this is honestly sad. It seems like Nika is raising her kids to hate their own kind because Naya has been seen saying several times that she wished she wasn't black. And the crazy part is Papa probably doesn't like black girls because of his own mama and seeing how she acts. 
but it seems like Abuki donated Nika some household items and also donated her kids some clothes and hygiene products. I'm glad these kids were able to get some essentials, but it's really sad to think that someone had to donate things like hangers and toothpaste, even though Nika is in the dollar store every day and walks right past these items. She could have easily provided her kids with the things that they need, but she waits for her bookies to donate while she uses her money on herself. Now, Nika did take the kids trick-or-treating on Halloween, but none of the kids had a costume, yet Nika had a Halloween themed outfit on. As for Thanksgiving, Nika surprisingly decided to cook. And I'ma just leave that at that. Oh, y'all be eating bananas and pop sugar. We love sugar in our macaroni. So it doesn't taste right. And that's not a lot of sugar. No, I'm gonna add a little milk to it. Mama started with sugar. And when I was pregnant, she can't make the macaroni sugar. I'm like, what the fuck? Even real sweet, but it was good. That's a pump right there. It's good. It's warm, you know, because it's still hot. Let me see the vinegar. Let me see the vinegar. Let that butter on set on fire on the stove. to our little friend Shamar. It seemed like he was doing good and he was even seen on tour with Suki Hana. He has also been in the studio and he claims that his songs is number one on the billboard. All of it. That's why I posted my page like who want me to drop the next single? And I know some of my fans are ready for me to drop the next single anyway because you know what I'm saying? Her me is going up. Um... Um, 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 pot going up, but the crazy part about it is, hurt me. It's the number one hit on the billboard. Boss move. It's another um number one hit on the billboard. Get paid. It's the number one hit on the billboard. I see my screen. I see. You know what I'm saying? My platinum, I see all of it. Although I'm not too sure which billboard he's talking about, I'm proud Shamar is doing something productive and he's working to get back on his feet. But it seemed like he was having some dental issues because he was recently in the ER for some tooth pain and he said his teeth were falling out. Yeah, I'm at the hospital. Gotta see what's going on with my mother's house. I couldn't even go to sleep. That's how bad my mouth hurt. Like, literally. But it depends on what they're going to do. It depends on what type of medicine they're going to give me. You feel me? Because, yeah, my mother's gone. It's hurting. I hope I ain't got no skin. Bomb infection, because if I do, I'm going to be so upset. And then I'm going to have to take something, you know, whatever it is. I just pray to God it's not no gum infection, because, you know what I'm saying, like, my teeth, my teeth be literally, like, you know what I'm saying, hurting, and then they be coming out on their own. So I just, I don't know, like, they come out on their own. Like me, I'm very talented. <laughs> I love traveling. I love being booked to busy. I love doing shit. You feel me? And the crazy part about it is, I don't even got a manager, and I'm doing this shit by myself. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. When you being booked, and you being busy, and you flying, and you traveling, and chasing your bag and getting into your bag. That's all that matters. Get into your bag. But recently he has came on live admitting that he is back in the streets and in need of housing. And he said that he's tired of being used. I do, but it's just like, that person told me not even come back to the house. So that's why I ain't go back. 
Me personally, when people see that I got something going on and see what I got going on, it's like, or they see that I have like money like cash or something like that. They be wanting money for me. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, they be wanting money from me. And I'm just tired of being like used and taken advantage of. Like I'm I'm just really tired of it. No, it ain't even under there. It's not because I can stay somewhere for free or whatever. But it just like people just, you know, get mad at me for no reason or go off on me for no reason. It's like that. And I'm just gonna speak the real, like I do something for somebody or whatever, but or I give somebody something. But it's just like when I do get it to you, I I to get it to you. But it's just like I'm just tired of being like Turn. Like, I'm just tired of people just keep trying to put me over and try to, like, just do me wrong for nothing. Like, I, I don't lost all my stuff. I don't lost my money. I don't lost my bed. I don't lost my wallet, my social security card, all of it. Somebody don't stole my bed. It's black and it got diamonds on it. Um,. My shit is gone. Like, I don't have no money. I don't even know how I'm to eat. I don't even know how I'm to get something to eat. I don't know. It's just like, I just don't know. Like, my shit is gone. Like, my bag is gone. And I'm really fit to cry. Like, I'm really upset. Like, I don't even know what to do at this point. Like, honestly, it really doesn't make any sense that Shamar is making music and booking shows, but he has no place to stay and no one around him will help him secure one. But at the same time, he's grown and he needs to realize that no one is going to house him for free forever. And just because they're asking him for money doesn't mean that they're using him. Moving on to Miss Taya Monet, she has been staying at hotels and she even got put out of a hotel on live. Hi, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on and I am on live to let you know that I am reporting for my safety. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's going on because I just keep hearing new stuff every day, and I'm, I'm kind of, like, irritated at this point. Okay. So I'm trying to see what's going on. Because yeah. I've been using my card. I've been here for a while now. been using my card. Now I can't use my card. You've been using a chime. And right. We don't, we don't take chime. And when they took chime, they should have never took it. They should have never took the chime card, okay? That's one thing. And then when the GM saw that, he was like, I told y'all not to take chime. You know, y'all cannot do chime here. And then another thing, when the employee break, you stayed. How long on this employee rate? Three weeks? I'm not sure. I've been here for like a month. Yeah. We can, our hotel, most Marriott brands, they do not let you stay over two weeks. And this is a Marriott property. You know that courtyard. So mm -hmm. that's why. So they've been, we've been very lenient. When you said that we weren't treating you fairly, we've been treating you fair. Because we've been giving you even more time than we're supposed to give you. Okay? And then to have someone call us a few minutes ago and say that someone is on social media bad mouthing us. And you just said to my associate that you were going to do that. So today, you need to leave our property today. Okay, okay. I'll leave, but I wasn't bad mouthing. I told them my experience. First of all, right here, I told y'all that y'all have bad ends. I told her that. I had ants. I had ants. So I have ant bites on my stuff. So that's what I was telling them. Okay. I was on live. I don't want you to get whoever gave you the employee rate. If you keep going this way, 
you're going to get them in trouble and you're going to get their privileges taken away. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do that because they did you a favor of giving, you know, giving, letting you stay, you know, stay on a home. See, that only happened once. She was telling me that one day I'll stay for till three. First of all, when that happened, I told her I wasn't going to get paid until three. She said, I said, can I stay in the lobby until I can pay? She said, yes, you can keep your stuff in the room. Yes, you did. She said, you keep your stuff in the room. I left. So I wasn't even here. I left, and when it was closer to three o'clock, I said, when my phone died, can I go upstairs and charge my phone for a second, and I'll go ahead and pay. So it's only been one time since I've been here since three o'clock, but she allowed that. I said I would stay in the lobby and wait. We so what's the, 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 what's the day, issue was, with that? It was the two o'clock and one o'clock. But I want to let you know I'm not bad-mouthing. I'm telling my experience. You all have infestation with ants. I recorded it. You said I, you, I've you said gotten beaten room, in my you eye. Said your room had ants. You're the only one that complained to us about having ants. I recorded I have, it. I, I recorded it. No I have recorded it. How you say your last name? Dulaney. The, Mr. Dulaney. That's just it. If my manager, the GM. Mm -hmm. At first, we were gonna let you stay. You were gonna be staying on a regular rate. But since it's getting to be this way, it's escalated to this. It hasn't escalated to anything no, because I've been respectful this since I've been here. I haven't had no issues with you all. I know. I have late checkout. Then y'all start to tell me, oh, well, you don't have priority checkout anymore. That's point, on my. All you gotta do is just check out. That's it. Thank okay, you. well, give me a key or whatever, and, and we're gonna make sure it's a. Uh, 1.4 thousand people up in here, okay, and we're so just gonna go okay. ahead and knock your ratings okay. down. Y'all are horrible, I and I have the videos. Okay, okay. well, let me upstairs and let me go get my stuff. Oh, you can't get in your room? You know, I can't. No, turn this stuff back on. Turn the comments back on. I am about to leave. But I've been nothing but respectful in here and stuff, and, and no. Talking about we've been working with you. I have late priority checkout. Thank you, can I speak to corporate? Because I've been trying to speak to corporate. Talk about I'm bad mouthing. Ain't nobody bad mouthing. I talked about my experience and I think I should be able to talk about my experience. If somebody tried to break into my room when I the second day that I came in here, what are you talking about? That's on them. They're the ones who literally let me use my cart this long. So I, how would I supposed to know that? Usually right here, it'll say... It'll say what cards you're supposed to use. This doesn't say anything about no charm. Most people know that. It doesn't say right here, no charm. <laughs> Haven't caused not one issue since I've been here. <clears throat> I don't care about the trolls calling. It doesn't matter, you're going by hearsay. I, ex I told my experience. I can play back my experience. And when I go to corporate, I can play back the video. I didn't bad talk anything. Said I had infested ants, and I was able to prove that the other day, several times, in two different rooms. And she said they have ants here, because they had, yes you did, because you said they were spraying in the rooms. Yes you did, why would y'all be spraying? Why would y'all come and spray? That's, that's a lie. That's a lie, y'all have ants. Y'all have ants. Y'all have ants, bad ants. She was apparently using someone's friends and family discount and this person later came on to the reddit and claimed that taya left the room a mess and damaged and she left a balance of almost one thousand dollars taya currently claims that she is still in a hotel but people in the reddit speculate that she's staying in somebody's house or an airbnb and it also has been recently discovered that the whole time that taya has been asking for money claiming it to be going towards hotel rooms whole time the rooms was already fully paid for because she had got a voucher from this company that helps homeless people so whole time her rooms was paid for and she would just be getting on live acting like she needed money for these rooms and basically just pocketing the money and i've been on live when i was homeless and had vouchers i just asked to raise for food for anybody that's been on here that long, you know that I only raise for food because my rooms was paid for. I don't lie about stupid. It's not worth my soul. Rooms fluctuate depending on where I'm going.
Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> my stuff just sent me here in the lobby. Taya also managed to find herself a job, but she was surely let go after being late too many times. She also claimed that she had to choose between her job and seeing her kids. Her oldest daughter, Brielle, currently lives with Taya's oldest sister, who recently went on live, and you can see Brielle calling them mom and dad, and she even stated that nobody is telling her to call them that. Taya has always said that her sister does not have Brielle, which her sister proved to be a lie, and she also cleared it up that Taya did not come to see Brielle. After Taya saw this, she came on live bashing her sister that these things are said but the thing is in my heart i can honestly say i want the best for that person i do i do because at the end of the day you know just because someone hurts your feelings my feelings is hurt yeah because especially when someone lie on you it hurts it really does it, it really does you can't take words back it doesn't mean that you'll get to have access to my life that would never happen but the thing about it is I want what's best for that person. Like everything is gonna work out for the best of everybody involved. I really do. I feel like it's gonna work out for everybody involved for the best. And if it doesn't, that's just the course of nature and the course of action for consequences, you know? But my prayer is that everything works out in the favor of the children. I done seen infidelity while they was married, all that, sh all of it, all of it. I seen all of it. I know how my sister is, y'all. She can have this whole persona of whatever on uh, TikTok and stuff. I'm not going to tell all her business, but she can make y'all think that if you want to. That's why I said I don't live for the TikTok stuff. Y'all can know that I have stuff that's been in my life or whatever like that. Because maybe y'all can help the, same, the, uh, the next person. But I'm about to act like my life is perfect because that ain't... Yeah, everything ain't cookies and rainbows. And when it's too good, to, it look like it's too good to be true. I promise you it is. Just remember that. But yes, she the one who introduced domestic violence to me. Not my parents, but my sister. And so it's crazy how she used to judge me on keeping my, keeping, staying with my baby daddy for so long when you taught me that. You taught me that. You never left your husband. Y'all are still married to this day. Y'all was domestic for several years. When I say several years, I mean several. And I would say, S don't talk to my sister like that. He'll say, shut up. I'm a kid. She's like, Dari, don't say nothing. Or my siblings, we all watching this. Honestly, Taya is just a lot. I cannot sit through these girls' lives because it will be so obvious that she's lying. Even when she's proven wrong, she will still lie because she knows that there will be somebody that believes her. She's always bringing up reuniting with her kids to gain sympathy, but anybody with eyes and common sense can see that she's not getting her kids back anytime soon, especially with no stable housing or an income. Okay, moving on to E. Kane. Her and Chris ended up getting into it again after they were on live drinking in a hotel room in Chicago and things escalated. They ended up physically fighting and he pulled her wig off. The police ended up coming to the room and Chris ended up going to jail again. What up, what this up there? Uh, See, so that's what I'm saying. What are you talking about? Scroll. All we said is where you at. Why is he acting shy though? Scroll. About what? Go all Why the way up. Read some See? messages. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. And then y'all and then y'all act like I'll be so wrong. You get what I'm wrong saying? Why you being childish? I'm not I'm just telling you what's going on. Tell her, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on. What's up? No, because we paid for this shit together. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come in, come sir, come on. No, because there's no violence. No, because I will, I will go downstairs because I don't want none of that. She might, she might be coming down there. You feel me? I'm gonna leave. No, you don't gotta leave. I'm gonna leave. Man, what? I was locked up for two whole days, man, or two whole nights, whatever you want to call it. I've been locked up since motherfucking Sunday morning, Monday morning, Sunday night. That's what we got into a little argument. And I ain't even snatched no motherfucking wig off on God. That's not what happened. The next day, Ekane and her kids went back to Chicago to bail him out of jail.
Honestly, it's clear that Ekane is not leaving Chris anytime soon, but I really hope that she wakes up before it's too late. Moving on to Zimnik, it looks like she's getting fed up with her baby daddy. She says that she did find a part-time job, but she's not messing with it no more, so she quit. And that, that's including looking for a job, looking for the things that, because the little, the, okay, the part-time job, I'm not going with no more. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. It's not helping us. So now that he knows that I'm irritated about that one thing right there, he's going to change it. He's going to fix it. He's the type of man, he's going to fix baby. I'll fix it. Y'all seen that movie, Hoes? When the black man told the lady, I could fix it. I could fix it. When I say something is wrong or I don't like something, he's the type of man, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try as much as I can. He can only do so much because he's human, but he's still a man. Like I explained to him, you're the backbone. You're the one I'm supposed to lean on. And no, he didn't get an attitude. No, he didn't get feel some type of way. He, you're right. Because when a woman tell you they fed up, they fed the... I, I'm, I'm not trying to give up on you, but you need to, you know, step it up. I'm not going to keep asking for... I'm not going to keep asking for help. I'm not... I'm telling him what I'm not going to be doing to where you need to do... What you need? Some money? So I ain't going to get none? I ain't going to get a ring? You get what I'm saying? I Like, I'm standing on business. You ain't getting a lick of ass till I see my ring. But they're still on live asking for money to hit their goals. And I did hear that she was pretty upset that I made a video on her, but I didn't catch the live. I don't make these videos to upset anybody or to be messy. I really just call it how I see it. Anybody can see that they're taking advantage of people that are willing to donate so they don't have to get up and work like everybody else. Especially since she's pregnant, you would think that would light a fire under her to stack up her money before the baby get here, but it looks like they're still on the same program. So moving on to Peach, her husband Wood showed himself paying child support to his other baby mama for his 18 year old son. Viewers notice that he's 18, usually once a child turns 18, they are cut off child support unless they're still in school or the parent is behind on child support. And Wood also had a court date approaching, so viewers assumed that he owed a lot of child support and had to pay before they put a warrant out on him. Peach spoke on this and said that she's the one with all the money and Wood is broke, so he shouldn't have to pay a lot in child support. Child support court, because he ain't been paying child support. He been gambling. I'm not paying Wood child support. I feel dumb giving him his mother money, but I should let him suffer. But anyways, he got a child support court. His baby mama was mad because the judge told him he only got to pay $300 to both of his baby mamas. He paying back pay. $300, she was mad. Somebody, That's not enough money. His wife rich. His wife rich. They be in the Gucci store. She gave him $50,000. She made like $30,000 a month. His wife rich. They say his wife ain't got nothing to do with that. I ha ho. Y'all cannot have my money. Wood can't even get no money from me no more. I feel dumb as giving him his money back. Then they gave me $1,400. I done gave him back the whole fourteen. So you gave zero. Don't think I'm stupid. I ain't finna be around here saying, oh, he gave me $1,400 this month. Nigga, you gave me $1,400 this month and you got the whole $1,400 back. I ain't even had the money for a good five days. You got it all back. Peach also did just recently get into it with another big YouTuber, B-Love. Now, B-Love used to be really popular for her seafood mukbang videos, and she has her own sauce mix, which is really popular as well. B-Love had came into Peach's inbox, basically praising her and giving her her props, and Peach decided to post this message on her page and say that B-Love is jealous of her. A lot of viewers felt like Peach's response was uncalled for because B-Love really didn't say anything shady, but B-Love did address it in a YouTube video and Peach made a post in response stating that if you want to get your views up, all you have to do is talk about Peach. She also announced that her oldest son, Greg, would be hosting a social media class on his birthday, which some viewers thought was strange because he obviously got his platform from his mother and she is the one helping him with his pages. I just wish she would fall back and stop making these crazy scenarios and focus on family content, but she knows that drama equals views, which is more money for her pockets. Peach is a smart woman. You really can't be too mad at it, but it does make you wonder how much she shows is really real and what is played up for views. So lastly, we have Queen Op and Shell. Now, Sierra does still have her baby girl Summer in her care, and it does look like Danny is taking care of her, but Danny is still drinking pretty heavily.
but you can tell Danny really does care about Summer and is the main one seen taking care of her. They are also in an apartment together and CR does come on live and was seen arguing with Danny. That I had to call the cops for and now I'm like the best tenant because I don't want to put it to dead body. What? Who don't care about me? Like I said, you said what you said. You said Summer not your daughter, so then she's not your daughter. You said Summer not your daughter, so she's not your daughter. Why are you yelling like a kid? For you do what? For you do what? Who says that? For you break everything in this bitch. Why would you want to trash my apartment that Troy helped me get? Why would you want to trash somewhere that Summer has to live? Why would you want to trash somewhere that Summer has to Yes, y'all. Why would you want to trash my crib? As for their court date, it was pushed back. And as for Shell, it seems like she is still off social media for now, but I hope she's doing good. But yeah, y'all, that's what I got for the update this time. Let me know in the comments if I missed out on anything going on with anybody. You know, it's a lot of people I gotta go through and see what's going on. And I don't, I can't include every little detail. But let me know what y'all think about these situations in the comments. Let me know if y'all like these videos, if I should keep doing them. Y'all check out my girl Zuri here for the bundles. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.